Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid. Yes, a classic, classic PlayStation 1 game, which we are going to play this week, or this week, today, in fact, <laughs> because the new Metal Gear Solid game is coming out during the week this week, which is something I'm very much looking forward to. I'm thinking about maybe playing a little bit of it here on the channel. I haven't really decided yet. But in order to celebrate the, the launch of a new Metal Gear Solid game, I figured, why not? play a few Metal Gear Solid games. So I think we're going to try and play probably two, three, maybe a bit of four, maybe some of the Peace Walker game, maybe? Depending on if people enjoy watching Metal Gear Solid in action. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit of it. I'm not going to watch all these cutscenes because man, if we watch all the cutscenes, <laughs> we'd be here all day. But um, yeah, we're going to play a little bit and have a little bit of fun. Hopefully, that's the plan. <laughs> but yeah look at him it looks so weird with a little goggly mask thing on I don't even know what the deal is with that but anyway so Metal Gear Solid classic Playstation 1 game it was like the first kind of big stealthy this kind of game Colonel this is Snake Colonel. Loud and clear. What's such classicness snake? I love this codex like screen I don't want to make us sit through all the reading though because god damn it there's a hell of a lot of talking in these games but that's part of the charm, because I'm always a big fan of story-driven games, and Metal Gear Oh my god, the analogue isn't working. Well, that's not helpful for anybody. Kabuya, There we go. <laughs> Oversights and idiocies, courtesy of Games Plus James. Ration. So yeah, we're going to play a little bit of it and talk about what makes these games so good. So goddamn good. Um, and one of the best things about this game is the series of bosses that you have to fight and the whole stealth mechanic in general like um, now obviously if I was playing this game normally I'd be going around and trying to oh no he caught me I'd be going around and trying not to get caught at all but in fact what has happened here is I am terrible so let's go and dive in here Kia Wee! <laughs> that's like the only part in this whole game that you can do a cool little dive like that but it's well worth it okay so now that guy's caught. There's still only one dude down here at the moment, I think, so we should be okay. Uh, is there a button to look around? Triangle. There we go. Unfortunately, you can't move when you're in this view. What's he doing? Okay, he's going back to his patrol. Uh, we'll just ignore him. You have to wait for the elevator to come down. And the elevator is up here somewhere. Hello, elevator. Nope, you're not here. What are the guys going to say to me? Elevator there you can take up to the ground. Ooh, to exciting. The to come down. Okay, there I can wait. Somewhere. I can wait forever. And by for Oh damn it, I didn't mean to call him again. Don't want to talk to these people. <laughs> um So yeah, one obviously one of the main attractions of the game is the whole story and it gets pretty convoluted and crazy the further you go on. I won't give any kind of spoilers for the game, but if you haven't played Metal Gear Solid at this point, what the hell are you doing with your life? God damn it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't even know how much time I spent playing this game when I was younger. Because it's just one of those classics. The elevator should be coming down soon, hopefully. Oh, he's coming to have a look. Hey, friendo. Let's get him to come around here. What was that noise? Huh. What was that noise? <laughs> oh, classic. Dead. So, yeah, that's what I was saying before. Obviously, I normally would try to sneakily sneak around... But, at the moment, we're trying to get through stuff, and I don't know why the elevator isn't here yet. Come on, dude. Come on. Punch this wall. There we go. Obviously, punching the wall so summons the elevator. That makes that just makes sense. Okay, the elevator comes down. Wait for him to appear. Then, quickly run over and punch him in the back of the head. Kia! Get out of here. Oh damn it! I have to wait for the alert to go off. Yeah, now you're dead. Well, there's nobody else to come help you, so. <laughs> oh, I have to wait for the evasion to go too. Oh man. Oh, I can't even hide here. Ah, doing so terribly. There we go. Problem solved. La 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 la. Waiting in the elevator. 
So yeah, also one of the cool things about this game is when you once you complete the game a couple of times, you start to unlock some more things, which obviously I haven't unlocked here yet or anything. But at this point, you always start the game in this kind of outfit. But after a couple of times of completing it, you unlock an awesome tuxedo in a kind of James Bond style, which is unveiled wonderfully in this little cutscene here. But we've just got the terrible normal Solid Snake costume, which isn't really that terrible. Even if he's got a weird wetsuit head on him. Dun, dun, dun. Taking off the clothes, it's an action scene. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, things are happening alright. <laughs> Solid Snake. Going on an elevator. Action at its ultimate finest. Yeah! So anyway, one of the best things about this game too is the awesome, awesome bosses that you fight throughout the game. Uh, they're pretty cool in general, and obviously with the most memorable being Psychomantis, the evil mind control man that you have to beat by plugging your controller into the second port of your PlayStation. It was such a crazy, crazy idea back in the day when you're like, I'm playing this game, but now they're talking about actually stuff that's happening outside the game? Who does this? Uh, let's skip all these videos. Ah, here we go. Finally in control for ourselves. So... This is when the game really starts opening up. This is where you start. You've you've got an objective. You can either there's two paths you can go through here. There's like a, a vent at the top or there's a vent at the bottom, which is guarded by a guy. Oh. <laughs> Careful now. Um, and if I normally try to go for the one at the top, but I think maybe I might. Oh, I get the chaff grenades here. I might try and go for the one. Oh, don't get caught. Uh, I might try and go for the one <laughs> at the very bottom there. Eventually I'll get that sentence out. It took a little while. Uh, chaff grenade. Chuck him in here. We shouldn't forget to get the SOCOM. Ah, stop. I don't care if it's... Oh, no. Don't mean to be crawling. Grab that thing. Oh, it's a stun grenade. Okay. Um, the only problem with using those chaff grenades is, of course, you lose the ability to see anything yourself. And Kajigger. SOCOM. Actually, now that I think about it, can you get into that bottom elevator? There's a whole hatch there. Yeah, it looks like you can. So all we need to do is throw a chaff grenade. Punch that guy. Do. Uh-oh. That's not good. Quickly. Oh, damn it, I'm dead. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Let's try that again. course the classic classic sounds of your lovely friendly teammates horrified at your death okay let's try this again oh my god I have so little life do I have any oh I have loads of rations well, why don't I use one of them idiot oh bulks bulks yes words that make sense okay can we hide here oh no he's coming down here uh, oh god he saw me Oh no, I just wanted to I, I just wanted to live. I want to be free. Uh okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna try and crawl into that vent. The only thing about this game is you don't have a lot of like maneuverability about you. Hey dude, how's it going? Uh I would like to punch you in the face. Oh no, stop it! Don't do that, come on. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, let's just fuck this. I'm going in here. You guys can't do anything. I'm out of here. Losers. See you later. Oh, he was throwing in a grenade there. That was kind of a bit dodgy. I forgot that they do that when you crawl into places. Oh, well. Uh, so where can we go in here, guys? So this is the area with the tank and stuff like that, isn't it? I think. It's so dark and spooky and scary. I'm so terrified already. Uh... Can I go down here? No. Is this going to turn out that I have to go back out and go up to... Oh, God. Do I have to go back up to the top? Was coming here completely fruitless? I think it was. Uh, so, yeah, this is the amazing crawling through tunnels mechanic. Something that comes up very often in the game, but... Yeah. It's not exactly very exciting. So let's get back outside. Oh, God. There's rats. There's rats everywhere. 
Who's calling me? Snake. McDonald like Miller. God damn it. Guys, he's not to be trusted. I will not make any spoilers or anything like that, but don't trust McDonald Miller. Oh, Jigger. Oh, going underwater. Oh. Bleh. 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 Drowning. Slowly, slowly drowning. And now we're free. It's okay. Don't worry, guys. We're alright. Look at these rats. You guys are lucky I have no weapon to shoot you. Oh man, I forgot to pick up the gun outside. Oh god, I'm so terrible at this game. <laughs> it's okay though, because you get given one for free later on. Ratsy, ratsy, ratsies. Crawling down the tunnels. Singing a song about chasing the rats and I'll chase them out to the open. Hello. Okay, any bad guys around? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Boom. The music in this game is so good too. It's such classic PlayStation music. See, this is the bad thing about going underneath places like this. You end up losing your radar. Where was that dude? Thought I heard some dude out there. Okay, let's go back out and hopefully we're... Oh god, no. That was a bad choice. Milk was a bad choice. Milk was a bad choice. Oh god, I don't even have the stun grenades yet. Uh, guys? <laughs> help me, help me, help. Okay, let's quickly get under here. Did he see me? No, he didn't see me. Excellent. Whew. Okay, we're safe underneath the tank. Not something you expect to say normally in the course of business of the day. Course of business of the day, yes. Sentences that make sense. To nobody. Elevator. So that's what I'm trying to get to. Okay. So now I have the map back, at least I can check where these guys are going, whether they're on to me at all. I always love the way the camera changes when you like lean up against the corner and things. Oh god, this guy's walking around. I don't like that. Aha, run up the middle of him. And... How do we... God, no, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know what the right button was. Come on, elevator. Please start working before the guys can find me. Excellent. And... B1. Let's go to B1. Do you remember bananas and pajamas? Anyone remember that? B1 and B2. Man, that was a crazy kid show. People dressed in banana costumes with pajamas on. Doesn't make any sense. La 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 la. Let's go crawl in some more tunnels. Now this is the this is where you get your first little sneak peek of Meryl in the game. Your lovely, lovely friend who likes to run around in her underwear. There's always that trick back there where if you go in and out of the ladder to enter this place. I don't know why this happens, but if you go in and out of it a few times, when you crawl over the bit where Meryl is along here. She's just in her underwear. Just for no reason. Just for, yeah, just, just Metal Gear Solid. That's the only reason for it. Oh, hello. Is that a woman? Sure is. It's good that you're able to distinguish between men and women, Snake, but okay. So here we go. This is with the first stage of the mission. Completed. This is where we go to rescue the DARPA chief. And he starts to tell you about the evil robotic walking nuclear quip battle tank whatever the hell you want to call it metal gear rex which is pretty awesome let's just skip some of this i think you should cut to a little bit of metal gear rex in action metal so. gear metal gear <laughs> yeah of course later in the game you're gonna have to fight that big robot fight it with your own bare hands there's there's so many good characters in this game. Like I was saying about the bosses, the, the bosses are pretty cool. And also there's the cyborg ninja dude, which is, he's just awesome. He was kind of replaced by Raiden to a certain extent in the later games, and that didn't really work very well. I mean, Raiden, really? Metal Gear Rising was an okay game. If it, so, if it could have somehow been about the original cyborg ninja from Metal Gear Solid, that would have been awesome. That would have been pretty cool. Instead, you're that freaking white-haired, girly dude. 
But we'll talk more about him in the Metal Gear Solid 2 video. Let's see what's going on with the DARPA chief. Okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Uh, I don't think you are, Snake. I think something diabolical is about to happen. DARPA chief is about to die! Spoilers! Oh no! It's not really spoilers, because as you can see, this is like 20 minutes into the game at the most. <laughs> See, the thing is, in fact, problem. that this is not the Darpa Chief, it's Decoy Octopus, what, what member of the Eva Foxhound team. Oh, and now he's having a heart attack. Because Snake is carrying an evil disease within him. We're not going to watch all that, though. So now, skip all this, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? They're gone. It's just Snake going, oh, he had a heart attack. Why did that happen? Oh, I don't know. So then you're left in the cell, and you're like, oh, man, what do I do? I'm trapped in this cell. Huh? I can hear things. If, you, and if you're looking on the map, on the radar thingy, you can see Meryl breaking her way out of her cell. Let's see if we can have a peek. Hello? Hello? If we knock. Hello? Do I have to like walk away? Oh, here we go. What's going on here? Open the door, please. Now let's go and say hello to her. Meryl. So yeah, this is what happens if you if you didn't pick up the gun back at the start of the game like I didn't, like a terrible, terrible, stupid person. Instead, what happens in this scene is a fairly certain snake will grab her gun off him, off her, even. Yes, words. Words that I can use. Liquid? No, you're not. No, I dyed my hair. I'm a completely different man. <laughs> Don't move. Look at her shaking. Shaking like a newbie. This is the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person. Where his snake is just bad ass. Of course, the voice of Snake is David Hayter, who's pretty awesome dude. Pretty awesome indeed. For some reason, they've decided not to use his voice in the new game. I know it's still like the old school Snake, but he was the voice of the old school Snake in the original games, or not in the original games, in like the third game, and in Peace Walker. But instead, they've decided to go with Kiefer Sutherland for some reason. I don't really know why. But whatever, I you suppose it's their kind of it's their choice, really. So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be oh. a little delayed. Oh no! What are you doing? So this is a kind of pointless little set piece. Oh man, I didn't get the gun! Damn it! Oh, I get the gun there. That's what happens. I thought he would like steal the gun off her. Die, everybody! I like shooting people. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but that's okay. Oh man, I wanted some bullets. Yeah, I'm it hurt you my feelings. Ugh. I wish I had a, some machine gun of some kind and I could shoot people, but instead I'm stuck with this stupid pointless pistol. Oh no, stupid pistol with no bullets. Uh, guys, and I'm dead. Well, I reckon that'll be enough for a look at Metal Gear Solid One. It. Obviously, the game gets much, much more awesome as you play further and further into it, and it just continues to be brilliant in general. Um, I will be back probably tomorrow, I think. We'll have a look at Metal Gear Solid 2 and see all the fun activities that can be had in that game. I'm just going to stay here and run around in this cell. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, don't forget to like, of course, the video. Leave some comments below. Subscribe if you want to. All that fun jazz. And I'll be back with more Metal Gear Solid for the rest of this week. And fun. Bye.